What is up, party people? It's Monday, and we are back with another cut day video. The past couple days, uh, yesterday I forgot my, my memory card, so that's why we didn't see a vlog, but I did chest and chest and triceps yesterday. And for the, for the workout, basically what I did was uh, dumbbell, dumbbell bench press uh, on a slight incline. Then I went to my machine press again, and then I went to assisted dips um, for the lower chest, and then for triceps, I did um, cross body extensions, superset with katana extensions. And that was pretty much it for that day. Um, that was definitely a good one. And then today we have a back day, so we're gonna head to LA Fitness this time. I like their I like their equipment for back. They have this nice like seated row and a nice uh, pull down that you could actually pull all the way through. Because um, when you're doing like regular pull downs, you have the bar in front of you, and that kind of hits my brim all the time. I could turn my hat around or take my hat off, but I'd rather not. And today we're eating a Cliff Bar because we did our run. We did our Costco run yesterday, and um, they didn't have Rice Krispies, and I was kind of upset, so. Today, we're off today, so we're gonna grab some Rice Krispies from either like Walmart or something, and then grab like little snacks from Trader Joe's and some frozen food from Trader Joe's, cause you know, your boy's always on the go, and I don't make time for meal prepping much anymore and I'd much rather eat a meal when it's already warm or freshly made sorry oh man oh yeah and as far as the diet the diet's been pretty good uh, took the family out two days ago to one of our, our favorite ah oh, damn there's a train yeah. It's one of our favorite Mexican joints. And you know your boy has some carne asada, some wagyu and stuff like that, so probably went over maybe like five hundred or so calories. But we're still on track. We woke up a little bit lighter at one seventy six point four from yesterday. We were one seventy six point six. We just been hovering around that kind of area. So <clears throat> as soon as I break one seventy six it's gonna look real nice actually right now it's not looking too bad I did a physique update or a physique check obviously every morning I step on the scale and six packs coming through the quad quad definition showing a little bit more so it's a slow process you know I wish I could just snap my fingers and be 10% body fat again but that's not how things work oh you know. also daylight savings or spring forward kind of messed me up I was working out yesterday I was like golly making good on time I look up they forgot to change the clocks look at my phone it's already 7.30 had to get ready for work but I feel like we're adjusting now and it feels way better honestly when you get off work and there's still light out because when you get off work and it's dark it's just like man the day's over i just got to go home watch like some tv and go right to bed play with the kiddos but now i can get off enjoy like a few hours of sunlight and i mean look forward to it rather than like staying in the house because it was some dark times in in seattle now spring is here one more season closer to summer so everybody that wants to get their summer bod ready I feel like you should start thinking about doing that sooner than later of course so that being said your boy gotta get in this right mindset to go to the gym play some good music finish up this clip bar 
which is like 260 calories, a little bit more than I wanted. But it was okay, we needed some fuel for today's back and bicep workout. And we're gonna sprinkle in some, um, some abs like we normally do. Damn, this is messing up my commute, this goddamn train. All right guys, I will see you on the first working set. All right guys, this is the first working set. We're gonna go single arm, we're gonna kinda angle ourselves towards that working arm. So, the right side of my pec, or the right side of my um, torso is gonna be on the pad here. And I'm gonna drive that elbow. <sighs> That ain't felt pretty good. Take a little bit of rest. We'll go on to the next one. All right, strap up. Three, two. Too bad. Um, probably move the weight up a little bit to like we're at 205, maybe 220. All right, guys, uh, this will be the top set. We went up 15 pounds, so you can see this from this angle that I'm I'm putting the opposite side of my torso on the uh, pad here, and I'm actually like um, pulling myself in with my opposite arm. So let me see. Pulling myself into the pad. Let's see how this feels. <sighs> Big breath. Three, two. Yep. Uh. <sighs> That wasn't too bad. Got about like 10 with some partial reps in. So we'll do the same thing on the other arm. Take some rest. All right, top set for the right arm. When I get 10, 10 with some partials. Shoot for the same thing, obviously. All right. We'll get a pull down in. One is like a hammer strength, but there's a there's a nice little pull down like right next to me that I like to do because it's pin loaded and I don't want to load all those plates. All right, guys, so we're at the uh, second workout here, and they're gonna notice I'm gonna stay like towards the bottom and uh, keep my lats engaged <laughs> and keep those elbows flared out too. When you're doing these. Uh. 
God damn. That's pretty much it. We'll probably just bump down a little bit so we can kind of control it a little bit more and get more um, activation for our muscles. We'll rest up a little bit. But the water here is fucking nasty. The boy's trying to get a good pump in. I feel a little dehydrated from this morning. So, I've been trying to drink a lot of water, but there's something in the water at this gym that's kind of nasty. Okay. Next time, I know I gotta bring like my own gallon or some shit. But let's take some rest. Uh, we got one more set here. All right, guys, we went down a little bit. Uh, we were at like 205, but now we're at like 190. So we're gonna control this a little bit better. Still stay at the bottom of the movement. And, and make sure we push our feet to the floor here. Lock in. Oh yeah, I feel pretty good. That's one. Two. thing is you don't need to get to 10 to 12 to reach that um, to reach I mean if you want to do 10 to 12 reps to reach muscle failure you can but it's the same thing if you're doing five six or seven so what we're trying to do is be a little bit more efficient here get our workout done with you know three four exercises um, per muscle group depending on how big it is and finish up quick because you know we got cardio after this all right guys so for this one we're gonna flare our elbows out get a good pinch upper back Two. Selfless drugs. Oh, God. Okay. That's pretty much it. We'll do um, one more set there, but it's all about elbow path. If you're trying to work down the back, make sure your elbows are flared out. All right, guys, this is probably the last back workout, the top set on this one. Uh, let's make sure we strap up, finish off with shrugs again. And as far as working out your traps, standing up shrugs don't do nothing for you. So stop doing that. It's the way your muscle fibers run. You're not gonna really target your traps when you're doing standing up shrugs. So they gotta X that hammer strength machine. Okay, let's go. Yep. Look at that range. Thanks. That's it for back. I was thinking about doing like a, a straight arm pull down, but your boy wanna hit some biceps now. And we still gotta do some abs. Okay. Your boy gotta get a quick physique update because we're looking pretty nasty right here. Oh God. The lats are feeling good. Now let's move the blood into the biceps. 
get a better pump in those, and then we'll actually do a shirtless physique update. All right, we're back in my favorite machine. Oh, did my voice crack? All right, we got two plates on this motherfucker. First working set, let's go. Ha! Ah. Oh. oh, God, it's too light. That's too. Six was probably like RPE, I want to say like seven, maybe 6.8, because your boy had a few more reps in him. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a quarter on that motherfucker and see what we got. All right, y'all. We got two, two plates and a quarter on this motherfucker. Let's see what we got. All right, three, two, one. Come on. Yep. Oh, damn. We're just gonna drop that shit. Do a drop set. Uh, okay. We'll get right back in that motherfucker now. Come on. That's pretty much it. We'll do one more set off camera for IG. All right, guys, we're kind of finally trying to find the good lighting here. And this is pretty much what we look like at 170, uh, 176. The abs are slowly, slowly coming in. Um, still got to hit some abs today. But as far as like staying to the staying to this program, we're still hitting our 2,000 calories. Hit our 2,000 calories and we're, um, what's it called? Doing our 20 minutes of cardio every day. Damn near every day. Oh, God damn. That was a pretty good workout. Once you know, like, once you know to, or what muscle group to hit and what exercises, like, you got planned in your head, it's, it becomes, like, super, super easy. It's, like, second nature. Um, and that's like how I feel as far as like progressing through the years. And my training has just gotten like more effective. Like, especially with, you know, all the optimal science and shit coming out like that. So, um, but we're gonna finish up with some abs, probably just do a, a rope cable uh, uh, crunch or maybe a machine crunch. And then we'll do, uh, and then we'll finish up with, I think I did 16 minutes of cardio this morning. So we got four and a half minutes for 20 minutes. And that's pretty much it. The boy is off today, thank goodness. It's gonna be a nice little reset day. And then we're back to the grind tomorrow for a quad day. I'll see you guys in. Peace out.